give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Welcome to the Dusty Vision Show. I am Dusty Vision. There's a lot going on out there in this world. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit to discuss some of the madness. We're going to start off with a little music. Then right after that, we're going to talk about C-Mac, Adam-22, Sexy Red, Eminem, P. Diddy, and the illegal immigration problem in America. So kick up your feet, roll something up if you partake. Grab a drink and vibe out with me. You are tuned in to the Dusty Vision Show. School is in session, baby, but I don't play. I know you wanted to go to recess, but I take that away. What? Understand I'm the what? man, even if you had a plan. If you make 200000 I'm keeping 100 grand. Wait a minute. Uh, because I'm pimping you, bitch. This is America, so why not get rich? When you're searching for your music, you're playing my station. I'm two steps beyond, maybe that's the fascination. On. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. I'm a West Coast rapper from the city of the hub. Everywhere I go, I get that California love. Like I'm the plug, they trying to tap into my energy. When I hit the spot, you know I'm coming with that synergy, replenishing like Gatorade. Got they levels up, and now we two steps beyond these flames, kicking up dust, never running from the smoke. Hold up, we really want the smoke only from Clone God, though. Let's go. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. I'm a Gemini, bitch. So you know what that means. It means that sometime one plus one equals three. I'm a wandering star with two grams up in my cigar and a heart with two scars. So pardon if I snap, girl. I'm sorry, bitch. Pass me the lighter. I'm about to play street fighter. Hot dug in that pussy. Like my name, Kenny Ryu. She says she never kissed a girl. Well, bitch. Tonight you experiment, put this tablet on your tongue and just enjoy the experience. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me, you talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. Cause I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. This is why I stopped giving money to the church. The dollar I drop in the offering basket on Sunday morning just may be sliding down the crack of a stripper's booty Sunday night. T.D. Jakes, beloved preacher, has been exposed for alleged kinky activities he was into with and or around P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddy, whatever we call him nowadays. Religion scares me. What people will do for their religion or their God really scares me. But what scares me the most are Christians who think they can do anything they want. And all they have to do is pray to God and they will be forgiven for all their sins. If, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. Really, nigga? I can't get jiggy with this shit. Scary, scary, scary. Even though I went to church religiously, no pun intended, up until I was around 19 years old, I don't think I ever truly believed what the Bible was telling me. Noah's Ark, never believed it. Jonah living in the mouth of a big fish for 30 days, never believed it. Some chick turning into a pillar of salt because she turned around when God told her not to. Never believed it. A talking snake that encouraged... Some chick named Eve to bite the forbidden fruit, therefore plaguing mankind 
with sin for eternity. Never believed it. I wish I did. It seems very comforting. Anyway, back to T.D. Jakes and his alleged power bottomness. If you don't know what a power bottom is, I'm not going to tell you right here on my show, but I'm going to ask you, just go on and Google it. Just go on and Google it. Just know it may mess up your algorithm a little bit for the next few days. You may see some stuff that you weren't expecting. So go in with caution when you Google power bottom. If, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is. The blood would fix it. This is a man who preaches telling the truth. And he is not living what he is preaching. If, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent. I'm almost 50, so in my lifetime, I've seen several pastors, preachers, evangelicals get exposed. And I got to say, I love that feeling of knowing that this piece of trash got exposed. But what bothers me to the core is some of these people who were exposed, these pastors, these preachers, these evangelicals, yeah, they their life was messed up for a couple years, but you know what? People started flocking right back to them. Right back to them. Are you kidding me? There was one specifically that I remember from the 90s. Can't remember his name. Ah. Uh, it was Peter Popoff. I, don't, I believe it was Peter Popoff. He was one of those guys who was like, I could heal you. And, and oh, you can't walk. You haven't been able to walk in 13 years. Well, you come here. You sit, First of all, send me a few bucks for this miracle spring water or this prayer cloth or whatever. And I'm going to cure you. Sorry, neighbors. Of all your illnesses well there was one guy in the 90s they caught his ass red handed he was claiming to know what people's illnesses were and the way he knew is because someone was feeding him the information in his earpiece from behind stage because the people behind stage looked at cards and, and information of the guests of the people who you know, wanted Peter Popov's healing. So let's just say a guy in row 10 with the red shirt named Steve. They're feeding all this information back. Steve has gout. Steve can't walk. So what does Mr. Popov do? After he gets sent a nice little donation, of course. He walks up to the man. He puts his hand all on his forehead and he pushes him back. The man falls on the floor. He gets up and he walks like four steps and then they cut to commercial break. Cut to commercial. He got caught. Others were caught with prostitutes, ladies, and men of the night. So this is nothing new because out of the people that I've named, most of them, if not all of them, have gotten a following back right away. I don't get why people support the church like that. I mean, I do get it because religion is powerful and people want to believe that there's this afterlife where we're all going to go and magically see all of our friends and family and our old pets again. Oh, never mind. Pets don't get into heaven. Yeah, read the Bible if you don't know that. Pets don't get into heaven. I was out when I heard that. I'm like, nope, I'm out. You mean this asshole right here might get to heaven? This guy sitting next to me who beats his wife and uh, cheats on her with the the church uh, treasurer lady, but my dog Buttons can't get into heaven? Screw this religion. I'm out. It was a joke, obviously. But that was one of the reasons why I can't fuck with. Yeah, there's, there's several reasons. And look, if religion makes you a better person, I am happy for you. I think there is a good part about religion, but 
There's a lot of bad about religion. Religion scares me. What people will do for their religion or their God really scares me. But what scares me the most are Christians like T.D. Jakes who think they can do anything they want and all they have to do is pray to God and they will be forgiven for all their sins. That is Christianity in a nutshell. That is what Christianity is based on. Jesus said, you come to me with your sin. I don't care how great it is. Sorry, neighbors, once again. And you'll be forgiven. I don't care how big or small your sin is. You will be forgiven. If, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is. The blood would fix it. I can't rock with a religion who thinks it's okay to do anything you want. And all you have to do is get on your knees, pray to God. You don't even got to care. Like You can do it however long you want. And all you got to do is pray to God. Be good. Can't roll with that. Everything you feel or talking about, she recording. Share with with your friends about to have your game exposed. You don't give her what she wants, designer bags and clothes, and who knows? You may be spending more dough out your pocket. Use a spacey pocket, and your chick is known to gossip. No matter about the topic, damn, bro, the man got has got her whole family feeling like Apple the One would send your wallet. It's common knowledge, you gon' give it, she gon' take it All the way down to the penny, leaving your heart to wake it, break it Never should've made the mistake of showing your hand in the beginning She figured you out, you playing checkers to the chess who's winning She grinning, why you give up all the info Listening for the keywords, is now there's a crescendo Let the drink flow, the Gorgon burning slow She whispers something else in your ear, you like for show. Sure. I go. know everything you ever want Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark. I know every song you ever heard Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark I know every thought you ever had Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark I'm the one that's giving you the word Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark Glass hearts are fragile and too much for her to handle The puppet just wants to dangle but everyone wants it to strangle itself and while he tap dances for mass, he prays to the pastor asking for forgiveness for his actions At night she talks to the wind like she would to a best friend Just a pocket full of change and a sin It sounds like California oceans, dreams of magical potions Drugs, illusions, and dark roads that you hope is a joking But nobody's laughing, curtains closed, wardrobe is asking But the clothes back, the cast is at the bar having daiquiris Miss Chance, Polaroid, no going back One pose, you blink, oops, you're bad Can't blame it on the man behind the Cameras, just one flash and just like that Time's up, just one chance Casket closed, very talent, beautiful grass I bet you really didn't think that life would go that fast I you? know everything you ever want Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark I know every song you ever heard Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark I know every thought you ever had Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark I'm the one that's giving you the word Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark I'm sitting down on the couch, I'm in the padded room But the whispers in the dark reminded me of the moon So big that I can touch it, but the distance is vast Nigga, the time is running out, so you better move fast Try not to crash, fuck fear, nigga, we blast off Got that clone guy in my lungs and it's making me The right motion is necessary, life can be kinda scary What's the point of existing if you're gonna be ordinary? So sick of working every day, distracted Say need my energy is gone. You can be feeling depleted. Just want to make this music continue living my life. Two vacations every year, wine and dime. My beautiful wife, relax. Look up at the sky, sipping liquor. Can you recognize the constellation? I see the big dipper, but it's dipper. She walking by, she bringing them drinks. I'm giving her the eye so she can know what I think. To I hear. know everything you ever want. Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark. I know every song you ever heard. Whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark, whispers in the dark.
dark. I know every thought you ever had. Whispers in the dark. Whispers in the dark. Whispers in the dark. I'm the one that's giving you the words. Whispers in the dark. Whispers in the dark. Whispers in the dark. Dr. Umar Johnson recently said that Eminem can't be considered the greatest rapper of all time because Eminem is white and rap was created by black people. Does that mean that Tiger Woods can't be the greatest golfer in the world because golf was invented by a white person? Does that mean that Kobe Bryant can't be the greatest basketball player of all time because basketball was invented by a white person? Does that mean that Barry Bonds can't be the greatest baseball player of all time because baseball was invented by a white person? I'm confused, Dr. Umar. Help me understand your logic. Eminem is not only the greatest white rapper in the history of rap music, he is arguably the greatest MC to ever touch a mic. And respectfully, Dr. Umar, who are you to even give your opinion on hip hop? And are you even a real doctor? You're probably no more of a doctor than Dr. Dre is. I don't know what you do in the black community. I've heard your name, obviously, but... Whatever it is you do, stick to that. Stay out of the hip-hop lane. For you to say that Eminem can't be considered the greatest rapper of all time because he's white is one of the most ignorant things I've ever heard in my life in regards to hip-hop. And I've heard this argument before, but it's usually from people who don't like Eminem. I don't care if you don't like Eminem. Anyone who says he isn't one of the greatest to ever do it is just lying to themselves. I remember when Eminem first came out. I had never heard anything like it as a hip-hop fan at that point. I knew about Eminem when he was still going by Slim Shady and battling on Sway and Tech and The Wake Up Show. Met a bitch a kid named Greg with a wooden leg. Snatched it off and beat him over the head with the peg. Go to bed with the keg. Wake up at the 40. Mix it without the cells to be Formula 4040. I remember hearing this flow one night, way before Hi, My Name Is came out. And I remember thinking, who the hell is this kid with this magical, fantastic wordplay? No more sad case closed in a discussion. We blowing up, it's spontaneous human combustion. Leaving you in the aftermath of all the cost and traumas. Cross the bombers, we blowing up the house, killing your parents, coming back to get your foster mamas. Shortly after, the world was introduced to Eminem, thanks to Dr. Dre. I can't stand people who make it all about race. If you're good, you're good. And Eminem is not only good, Eminem is great. Eminem is way better than a lot of the black rappers you put in your so-called top 10 list. Eminem at his prime, and probably still today, would lyrically eat them alive. Anyone who thinks different doesn't know hip-hop. Or is just an Eminem hater. Or both. But to deny someone their goat status simply because they have less melanin in their body. Is ridiculous. Dr. Umar, you are ridiculous for this statement. Like I said earlier, I don't know what it is you do in the black community. But whatever it is, stick to that. Leave the hip hop to people who actually know what they're talking about. I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, not doing enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a west straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. 
So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe. But she said she loved me, she wanted to hug me under my sheets, so it's get told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight, baby. Ignore the rain, and everything gonna be okay. While the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what can we do? While Rome is collapsing but not in a day, we'll be okay The tip of your mouth, you're Jackson I'll pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling, just listen, it'll be Just like starting over I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight, baby Ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Feet kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle of the night, I get the job done Celebrating life, I've bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing your memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hey, they came from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride, and mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Black people, we are our own worst enemy. It's late night. I'm sipping some bourbon, puffing on an L, watching this video that went viral this past week of a group of young girls, young black girls. That is the most important part to this, in my opinion. A group of young black girls who couldn't be no more than five or six singing and dancing to a sexy red verse. The lyrics these young girls were singing and dancing to go something like this. Bend that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake. Shake that ass for me. Now, I like the song when I'm in a bar or a club with a drink, dancing with my lady, dancing with a bunch of other adults. I like the song, but it bothers me seeing little girls dancing to this. But Dusty Vision, they were dancing and singing 
to the edited version of the song. I don't care if it was the edited version. These kids nowadays aren't stupid. They know how to navigate the internet better than we do. They can easily find the non-edited version of this song on YouTube. The song itself is called Rich Baby Daddy. Mommy, what does Rich Baby Daddy mean? Side note, I hate when women call the father of their child my baby daddy. I hate when men call the mother of their children my baby mama. My BM. Can we stop that? We can't blame Sexy Red for this, though. The blame is solely on the parents. If I were 22 years old and I was making music, people were shaking their asses too, that made their coochies breathe, I'd probably do it too. I wouldn't give a damn if I was destroying a generation of females by doing so. That would be my point of view if I were 22. I'm knocking on 50's door. I can't condone this. I can't lie, though. That song does hit. That song does hit for adults, not for kids. That song does hit for adults. I've always been a big Drake supporter. I've loved Drake's delivery, his consistency, and his flow. And I think Drake will go down in history as one of the greats to ever do this. Agree with me or disagree with me if you want. Now, Sexy Red, I I don't know. It's a little too early to tell if she'll be around in 10 years or if she'll be gone in six months. I mean, Nicki Minaj is still around. Her career is still popping. She just had a number one album released, and it was fire. I listened to it. I like Nicki Minaj. I think Nicki Minaj is the greatest female MC to ever do this. Agree with me or disagree with me. I saw her come up from the mix up di- mixtape days to now. Agree with me or disagree with me. I think Nicki Minaj is one of the greats. She's still around. Who would have thought, though? Cardi B is around. So who's to say that Sexy Red won't be around in 10 years? I don't know. I'm 50 years old. I don't understand this shit. And I shouldn't understand it. I'm way out of the loop. But don't get it twisted. When I was young, female MCs were doing this as well. Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, Trina, Adina Howard... I mean, Missy eventually, Brat started taking her clothes off eventually. Like, uh, they all event, like a lot of them eventually did this. They were doing the exact same thing. This is nothing new. I had Little Kim's, I jerked off to Little Kim's 1990, whatever, four album poster that was. The one that went viral when viral wasn't even a thing. Everybody, if you are in your 40s, you know exactly what Little Kim picture I'm talking about. The pose where she's squatting with the coochie lips. We all... Do I need to go on? Okay. I'm not the only one who jerked off to it. I'm just the one, the only one who's man enough to admit it. But sex sells. And I bet you a lot of people bought that Lil' Kim album based off that poster. Without hearing a lyric. They bought it. Foxy Brown. The creepy weird thing about Foxy Brown in hindsight as, once again, almost a man who's touching 50 years old. Foxy Brown was like... 6, 15, 16, when she was talking about these things, she was getting very explicit. Very explicit. Like adult type explicit. Talking about her ill nana and all that. Y'all remember that? Do y'all know what an ill nana is? Does anyone know what an ill nana is? I can tell you what an ill nana is. I've had a few ill nanas in my past. 
But should a 16-year-old be talking about her ill nana? So once again, this is nothing new. Making your... Bounce your ass, bitch, and make a coochie breathe. Break that ass for me. That's nothing new. Trina was another one. Came in the game young as hell. I don't know if she was under 18. She was pretty damn close, though. And she was talking about the same exact stuff. Is there a difference? I don't think there's a difference. I'm being biased. In my opinion, Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, Trina, they're all better MCs to, to, uh, than uh, Sexy Red. But once again, I'm out of the loop. There's a kid right now who, who is like, you are tripping, old man. Sexy Red has bars. Like, I'm out of the loop. I don't even get a, vo- a vote. The target demographic in hip-hop is what? Is it uh, when you buy shit is 18 to 34 or something like that when you actually buy and consume and go to concerts and support artists once you hit 34 which I'm well past you're not considered a vote anymore so what I think of sexy red guess what nobody gives a damn <laughs> about what I think of sexy red but as a man when I see Five-year-olds dancing and saying lyrics like, bend that ass over, let that coochie breathe, hands on your knees, hands on your knees, shake that ass for Drake, shake that ass for me. That bothers me. That bothers me. And maybe that's how my parents, my grandparents, my aunts felt about the hip hop I was listening to back when i was a kid i mean think about it when i was a kid there were groups out there screaming out f the police how crazy must that would have been must that have been back in 1988 88 was a different time ladies and gentlemen it's 2024 i know we're used to hearing f the police and my booty hole pink and my asshole brown or whatever. Like we're, we're used to hearing that stuff. So it's like there's no shock factor. There's nothing. But take yourself back to 1988. A group like NWA saying F the police. We had to sneak and listen to albums when I was a kid. When I was in ninth grade. My best friend Camille. My best friend in the whole wide world. My best friend. He had Drew Down's album. He bought it like behind the scenes and tell his parents. And they had the Wu-Tang album. And we had to literally hide and listen to those albums. You remember Drew Down? I'm Pimp of the Year, baby. Pimp. Pimp on. I got all the ladies. Pimp. Pimp on. We got all the ladies. We had to hide and listen to that album. We had to hide and listen to Wu-Tang Clan's first album. Because Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. And you can't say the F word in my house, in my Christian home. So we had to hide. So this is nothing new, guys. When my son was younger, I let him listen to whatever songs he really liked and he liked a lot of hip-hop and rap that had cuss words and may not have been the best message i remember one of my son's favorite songs as a kid was e40 and fabulous's song automatic systematic do what you do play just keep that money on your mind he used to love that song. Play that song over, daddy. Then when you hear the lyrics, you're like, damn, should I be letting my son hear this? My son hear this song? But if there's one thing I will say about most people, most people know this is entertainment. When I was a kid, I knew NWA wasn't out there busting on cops. I knew Easy e 
didn't cold cut a fort in in court and, and pulled out a submachine Uzi. I knew I I knew this was all even as a nine, ten, eleven, twelve year old kid, I knew this was all entertainment. I got it. I, I really got it early on. I never really believed. And then growing up then doing my own research, I happen to be right. And then doing my show with Alonzo Williams, the godfather of West Coast hip hop on NWA stories with Lonzo. I realized, yeah, they were all actors and I got it back then. I wasn't one of those kids who got, who got, who thought this was real. I knew this was just like me watching Terminator 2 with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I got it. But that was me. And not as many people are strong as me. Which is why we have a whole generation now of people who smoke weed and think it's okay, pop pills and things okay, like hit their women. Like we have a generation, this generation is effed up. And you know what? It kind of sort of started in my generation. And I want to apologize on behalf. But keep in mind, guys, I was a kid back then. So I can't even apologize because I was only 12 years old. So I was influenced by the Dr. Dre's. Okay, I was influenced by the Snoop Dogg's calling my girl a bitch. I was influenced, but I knew it was all entertainment. But what to say there wasn't a little influence I'd be lying. I'd be lying a bit. But one thing I did know is that Easy E and NWA, I, they're not, they're, they weren't doing what they said they were doing. Can I say the same for this generation who believes everything they read on the internet? They believe everything they see on Instagram. They believe everything. I'm worried because this generation, I feel, I feel, and no disrespect to you 20-something-year-olds because a lot of you are making a lot of money and a lot of you are doing things that we could have never imagined doing back in 1988. But I think this generation is a little more weak-minded. A little more weak-minded. So when they see someone like Sexy Red, the tattoos on her face, twerking while she's pregnant, Shaking her ass and making her coochie breathe. I think it's going to have a bigger influence in 20 years than what I was seeing back when I was a kid in the 90s. <sighs> Watching these five-year-olds, six-year-olds dancing, talking about making their, shaking their ass, making their coochie breathe, hands on your knees. It's not cute. It's not cute. It's sad. And it bothers me. She wanna see the city bus. She don't wanna ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these yeah. drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's, what's the, the point, point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out it's the truth i already know yeah, yeah. 
Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor, girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to, baby? That's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about, baby, just sit your ass down you wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in the jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we bout to go we bout The to road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul And so, many MCs inspired to be One of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC Then the law came life, now get dreams deferred All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur My ponders contemplating the worst Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too When it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah If Martin Luther King gave an I Have a Dream speech today In 2024 It would go something like this I have a dream That my people will stop Using the terms baby mama and baby daddy To describe the person that they had a child with for we will not take pride in being ghetto i have a dream that little five-year-old girls will not be dancing to sexy red music in a classroom while parents and teachers egg them on for there will be a man in the house who will not allow such nonsense to occur i have a dream that my people will stop blaming the white man for their problems your problems are your problems. No white man created them, and no white man will suddenly make them disappear. I have a dream that my people will stop voting Democrat. The Democrats have done nothing but harm our people and make them dependent on the government to support them. I have a dream. I have a dream. That cities like Chicago and Baltimore and Philadelphia will not have 50 shootings a weekend. I dream that we will unify and take over the streets in a positive manner. I have a dream my people will stop committing smash and grab robberies, then selling the items on the street for pennies on the dollar. For I have a dream that my people will go out and make an honest living and not rely on thievery I have a dream that my people will stop looking down on our own kind who speak proper by calling them white for good punctuation and grammar can get you far in life I have a dream that we will invest invest in ourselves and keep the money in our communities instead of giving it away to others like we've done in the past I have a dream that we will stop eating processed foods. I have a dream that we will stop eating fried foods. I have a dream that we will start eating organic and actually caring about what we put into our bodies so we don't suffer from diabetes and other illnesses at an early age. I have a dream that we will teach our women and children how to properly defend themselves in case they are ever put in harm's way. 
I have a dream. I have a dream that my people will stop embracing the theory that we were brought here from Africa. I have a dream that we will educate ourselves so we can soon understand that we weren't brought here. We were already here and we were prospering. I have a dream that each of us will study our own family's backgrounds instead of believing his story that was created to psychologically make you believe you are inferior to white people. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a motherfucking dream. What do you think? What do you think Martin Luther King's thoughts would be on the current state of the quote black American? Would he be happy with where we are? Would he be proud of where we are? Would Martin Luther King say to himself, my dream came true? I don't think he would. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X have always been Two people that I've idolized over the years. Martin Luther King a little bit more so. I appreciated his peace approach. I've always been a man of peace. Unless you bring me out of that peace. Like any man. Like Martin Luther King, I'm sure. But I've always appreciated his approach. As a kid, one of my favorite things about him was when he said, I have a dream that one day we will be judged by the content of our character and not the color of our skin. In 2024, we are not living that way. Everything is about race and color now. I can't make it because of my color or because of my gender or because of this or because of that. No, maybe you can't make it because you're just a shitty person and you may need a little guidance. But in 2024, the fact that you can't make it, in my opinion, has very little to do with how much melanin you have in your skin. I believe in 2024, everyone is equal. White supremacy is a state of mind. And if you still believe white people are supreme to you, then you're always going to be inferior in your head to white people. So there's nothing I could do about those people. But I truly believe that most people know that White supremacy is a thing of the past. Most of these kids coming up, they know white supremacy is a thing of the past. It's time to realize that we're all equal. We all have the same opportunity. We all have a phone slash computer in our hand that we could start a business any day. All of us. There's nothing on Apple doesn't say, oh, black people aren't allowed to start businesses on the phone or, oh, Mexicans aren't allowed to open a Robin Hood account so they can start selling stocks on their phone. No, none of that happens. Everybody, everybody is on an evil playing field more so now than any time in history. I have a dream personally that one day we will stop blaming everything on the white man. That's that's a dream I'm going to keep fighting for. Me, Dusty Vision. I'm going to keep fighting. So A, our people stop blaming everything on the white man. And B, our people stop thinking that white people are supreme to them. White people are superior to them. There is no white man out there that is superior to me. I'm sorry. Not one. And you know why? Because my mind ain't letting me. Like, it fathoms my mind to even think that somebody out there is better than me or has a better chance than I do because they are white 
That was my immature thinking. Did I go through a phase in life when I thought that? Yes. When I was a loser, when I was like my 20s, I was blaming anything I could other than myself. I can sit here as a man in 2024 and tell you right now, white, there's no white man that's supreme to me. There's no white entity that's supreme to me. White people are not supreme to us. We need to knock that off. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a motherfucking dream that we, my people, will start taking more accountability for where we are in our lives personally and where we are in our lives as a whole. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. And we will never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone, I possess it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me is a god, the creator. Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean. I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean. But working every day from nine to five in my thing. I feel like a trap. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. I feel like I'm trapped. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. Trouble, trouble. One by one we start to subtract them Separate facade from who really bought that action Feel like I'm trapped In the room without a key Full wall surrounding me Stripping my identity Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive Take away my culture and my nationality Talking about double jeopardy and double standard To killing my folks like it don't even matter And when we gather Disgusted by the charades Bullet spray the crowd Target practice in the game No accountability so who bears the blame They want to see us violent and justify the change Back to how it used to be Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel as he Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For awareness I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble Trouble let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose When he smiles They don't really know What's under the surface I'm a product of pain Racism and cocaine I never tooted once But it's all in my veins That shit is all in my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story That you've heard hundreds of times Blah 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 Wham 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 Hate my life And my parents both suck I'll never be like them Then you grow up Get married And end up just like them For the most part It's our fault We're trapped in this bitch Shit they gave us The blueprint Our dumb asses ain't I feel missing. like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble 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 Adam 22 owes C-Mac nothing. Let me start by saying I'm no fan of Adam 22. I'm no fan of anyone, but especially Adam 22. I respect him for what he's built and the hustle he puts into his businesses, but that's about where it stops. A lot of people have been upset at Adam 22 when China Mac and others exposed the fact that Adam didn't show up to court to put in a good word for C Mac. For those that aren't aware, C Mac, Crip Mac, Mr. 55 Five Crip, was arrested recently for having a ghost gun on him. He is currently sitting behind bars facing serious fed time. Allegedly, Adam was contacted and asked to show up to C-Mac's bail hearing to prove to the judge that C-Mac is a great, upstanding, tax-paying citizen with a good job at no jumper. 
Adam declined that because, according to him, he had a full day's worth of interviews and couldn't cancel at the last minute. To the people who are upset at Adam, it's apparent none of y'all ain't never owned shit in your lives, let alone ran a business. Now, once again, I'm no fan of Adam, but I'm objective. I'm about as objective as it gets. And I'm calling bullshit no matter what side it's on. And to the people upset at Adam, that's bullshit. Adam has a business to run. Several businesses to run. And he can't stop business just because some dude with H killer tatted on his forehead decides to carry around an illegal weapon knowing if he gets caught with it, he's going back to prison for a very long time. I can't feel sorry for C-Mac and I would never stop my business if one of the people I employed decided to do some stupid shit like that. Let me take it a step further. I wouldn't take the day off of work if one of my own family members did some dumb shit like that. Not even my best friend. Call me a piece of shit if you want, but at a certain age, your ass needs to learn the consequences of the shit you do. And I'm not going to stop my business, cancel interviews, whatever, to go to court to try to prove to the judge that you're an upstanding citizen, even though you have face tattoos and you talk about how you love gangbanging every day on YouTube. No. Fuck no. Damn, Dusty. You ain't a real nigga. You're damn right I ain't a nigga. I'm not a nigga. Don't call me a nigga. Don't associate me with a nigga. I'm a black man who is about 50 years old. My nigga days are way behind me. And if you're a nigga in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and you think it's okay to carry around ghost guns, Even though you're on parole. I can't feel sorry for you, my nigga. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keeping people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. Black lives matter all the time. Not just when one of them kills one of our kind. Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking when Chicago has 30 murders in one week. Oh, yeah. How many ever we gonna lose? Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time Movement is all over the world, energy divine Where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than really departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rowdy Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by enemies that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. Lord,
So many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere Sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain Ain't no fucks given what? Only justification is I fit the description Trapped in the system uh. Just another digit Damn. In they private prison Trying to keep the optimism <laughs> It's tearing me to the core How many more we gon' lose We got the right to live a life Without you and me Know what we do Ooh. Enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge Give them tools Running the race Coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way Back to my roots it's a different time, we ain't going forward. forward. You see, there's power in numbers, keep on, keep on ignoring. You see us coming together, together we growing. growing. They feel the changing is coming, you better know. I'm in the we gon' lose. I'm angry at 31. You angry at 16. How many ever we gon' lose? Earlier today, I was watching a news story about the immigration situation we have going on right now. There's a school in Brooklyn, New York, whose students were forced to work remote. That means from home for you remedial people who don't know what remote means. The students were told to work from home because the school needed to temporarily house thousands of illegal immigrants due to the bad weather. Parents in Brooklyn outraged after the city decided to use their kids' school to house migrants who had to be evacuated from the Floyd Bennett Field during yesterday's storm. The decision forced the school to shift to remote learning for the day. Jessica Formoso takes a look at how the city is addressing that disruption. To understand where I, Dusty Vision, stands on the illegal immigration situation, let's take it all the way back. When my father, RIP, left me at a young age, my mother married a Mexican man. Specifically, he was straight from Sonora, Mexico. San Luis, Rio, Colorado, Sonora, Mexico, to be exact. And I grew up to love this man as a father figure. And his family became my family. They never treated me differently because I was, quote, black. In fact, my abuelita Consuelo, who is still alive to this day, talked to me in Spanish. And if I didn't understand or learn to understand what she was saying, I might not have eaten that day. Joke, obviously. But yes, I did learn a lot about the Mexican culture growing up in East Long Beach with my step family. A lot of my earliest memories in life were with my familia. My tia Chela, my tío Cesar, my cousin Jose. Well, technically, he's my uncle, but he's younger than me. And that's a whole other story, so we'll just move on. I remember watching Sabado Gigante on Saturday nights while my mom had to work. Watching Chavo del Ocho, novelas. I didn't understand what the F they were saying, but the eye candy kept me glued to the screen. I've always had a thing for Latinas. Latinas are just yummy. Not taking anything away from other women because beautiful comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors, but I've always had my eye on Latina women. That all started when I moved from East Long Beach to Bell Gardens, which is a city located in Southeast LA. That is where I really, really started to notice Latina girls. And that 
has always been my flavor. I'm happily married to a beautiful Mexican woman. We've been married for 13 years now. That's my baby, my Haina, my Ruka. The sexiest woman alive to me. Straight from Mexico. Born in Tijuana. All that being said, this current immigration situation really worries me. I know a lot. I know most of you don't really know what's going on because, let's face it, you don't really care. You don't really care until it affects you. Like it's affecting the people in Brooklyn, New York right now. Who had to keep their kids home from school so thousands of migrants could have shelter during the winter storm. Tensions running high outside James Madison High School in Brooklyn Wednesday morning, where nearly 2,000 migrants spent the night braving the storm. Our kids should not be used. Uh, our, uh, the school should not be used. It's a sectionary for the learning. Our kids are supposed to be here feeling safe and be able to learn. The city's decision to relocate migrant families from Floyd Bennett Fields to the high school didn't sit well with parents and local officials who say the administration put the needs of the migrants ahead of their children. And I don't blame the migrants one bit. If our current president and our current administration is dumb enough to announce to the world that America is wide open, Come on in. We'll give you a bunch of money. We'll give you a bunch of resources. We'll set you up in housing. Shit, I'd come too if I were in another country. I don't knock one person who is trying to take advantage of this time. In fact, I commend them. Come on in. This is your chance. They stole the country from you hundreds of years ago. Here's your chance to possibly steal it back. I'm literally not hating on the migrants. I'm hating on our dumb ass government for allowing this to get out of control. This is a little worrisome, guys. I personally believe that 99% of the people who are crossing over our borders are coming over for good intentions. They're coming over so they can have a better life, so they can give their children and their families a better life. But what about that 1%? Let's just say it's 1% that wants to do us harm. What about them? All it takes is one. And that is the part that worries me. That part right there. And Trump tried to say this years ago, but he's a ding dong, so he didn't really say it correctly when he said, They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. We're letting a lot of people into our country right now who aren't being vetted. Just come on in and do whatever. Come on in and go wherever. That is the part that worries me. The year 2020 kicked our asses and we're still recovering from that. Our resources are so very limited right now. And to think that we are letting millions millions and millions more in to share these limited resources is worrisome and you know who it's going to affect the most right whose jobs it's going to affect the most the hood the inner cities the quote Sanctuary cities who are just going to keep shipping in hundreds of thousands of millions of more people into a place that is already struggling. The jobs are already limited as it is. They do their job. Yeah, it was 
funny when it was a joke on South Park, huh? Well, soon, and very soon, sooner than you think, this will be the reality. Right now, Americans are scraping up whatever jobs they can to survive. Think about what it's going to be like for your children in 10 years. And in my personal life, most of the hardworking, tax-paying, home-owning Latino families I know are just as worried as I am about the current immigration situation. Is there any way to fix this? Comment down below. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. I had to rush out of my bed because I was late for work. My motherfucking rent is due and my boss is a jerk. Pencil pushing at the job and intermediate clerk. My mama told me to go to school. I'm going bananas berserk. I work every day, don't know where the money goes. My girl is big and pregnant, want me to paint her toes. Only a high school diploma. I'm smelling the aroma. The greenery is burning in my room. But life is a mama Sita. She glad to meet ya. She bad coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat.